Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, How You Figure, and today we are reviewing the Hot Toys Darth Vader DX28 from the Disney Plus series, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at this figure and all the accessories, but first I want to just take a look at this box because this thing is awesome. You really feel like you're getting the deluxe treatment with this figure right away by looking at this, which is important to me and I'm sure a lot of collectors who want that premium feel for these type of collectibles. We can see Darth uh, Vader right here, the battle damage look on front. I just love the black and the red and the simplicity of the Star Wars boxes. You also see this when you open, you know, uh, here in a minute when we open this part up, you're going to kind of see what I'm talking about here with how good this presentation is. Um, I just I just love the look of these boxes. These are really nice. Um, art automatically makes you excited for the figure. And this is what I was talking about right here. You see this when you open it up. You see these Inquisitors. You see uh, Obi-Wan. You see Vader. You see a bunch of different details here. I just love this image here. It's so good. Again, here's these Inquisitors right here. I'm very excited that we're going to be getting the rest of the Inquisitors, hopefully, um, soon. But yeah, you know, you get your Star Wars here. You get your Darth War uh, Vader Deluxe version. Just love the presentation for this figure already. So just in terms of the presentation and box, I think this is a 10 out of 10 so far. I mean, this is a really, really well done job by Hot Toys. You know, and, and again, I just love this right here. This little spot right here where it kind of gives you this great Anakin is gone. I am what remains an iconic line from this show and just some details about the character. I just love that. I love that. It gives you that whole idea of the scene again. And I just really like the way it looks. And when you open this up, if you have a DX figure, you can see how it's presented if you've had one before and if you if you haven't it always comes like this you get your figure here you get your alternate uh helmeted head sculpt again with this deluxe version you get the clean chest piece uh let's get this figure out of here though and let's start taking a closer look at this figure and the first thing i want to do when i look at this i want to take this helmet off like right away because i want to show off this uh this design here with this head sculpt i also want to point out uh the different um details of that right there but i want to point out this right here because i have trouble with the rolling eyeball sometimes and i love the accessibility right here i think it's an easy way to get to that rolling eyeball and move around with this figure especially for toy photography and stuff like that i think that's a great addition to have that so accessible back there you get some of the usb plugins back here for the lightsaber and the chest pieces again just looking really really good straight out of the box i just want to show one more time a little bit more of that damaged head sculpt we're going to take a closer look at that here in a minute but i wanted to give a first look impression of that real quick and just show that off with that rolling eyeball it looks so so good the paint apps the battle damage sculpt the details so solid and then that helmet just clicks right in pretty easily there really really solid so far loving what i'm seeing now let's take a look at that clean chest piece that comes with the deluxe version I love that you can have two different looks. I really, really do. And I just love the way this clean version looks. I'm going to be alternating this. I mean, until I get another Vader, I'm planning on getting the 40th anniversary one as well. Until that one comes in, I'm definitely going to be showing off two different looks for this character. And I think that both look good. I, I understand people that might want to get two of these just to have both versions. Because um, that's how good this helmet and this chest piece look. That helmet just looks, I mean, that's just iconic right there. Let's just just looks so good and again we're talking about the show here it's just so accurate to the show's depiction of the character and i love having the two options there this just has a great shine to it really really great work here by hot toys um yeah i could just look at this thing all day just vader right here baby looks so good now we're going to get into the hands here we got a bunch of gloved hands i think it's seven in total um and which is nice considering the different poses you can do with vader like he's probably going to be limited with his articulation and stuff like that within his legs and stuff so a lot of the hands and a lot of the um the, st the story you want to tell with that he probably won't be the most posable figure so having different hands and gloves is a welcoming thing so you can kind of tell that story with just his hands and his expressions i just think that that's a great addition i like having the different hands options just for different poses i like to give different poses for my figures from time to time and these gloves look all really good um i really like the variety again multiple options and, and what's cool is you get options to have two lightsabers which is really cool because he, in, in this you know in the show he has the scene with the two lightsabers and so that's a really cool option as well now we're going to start looking at the figure and right off the bat the weight feels really good but this pleather material i am a little concerned about i am a little concerned about just with that because we talked about that with like the posability you know maybe that getting damaged a little bit so again i'm a little concerned this is my first vader so i'm going to be super careful with it but i do want to show off the articulation 
you know we get this material here that's pretty much the same material that you're going to see with the cape i'm sure again this could get wrinkled and stuff but that will cover it up if you want to do a little bit again the usb plug-in right there as well just an option if you would like to do that which i i welcome all usb it, it, everything needs to have usb no more batteries i prefer the usb part of it but let's just take a look at this sculpt let's just take a look at this thing man wow this thing is amazing you were just drawn to it and it is a great representation of that scene and of that moment that will go down in star wars history i mean this is this is part of star wars history this is part of anakin's story whether you enjoyed this series or not it seems that scene is something a lot of collectors would like to have represented in their displays and that head sculpt is just so so good so let's take a look at some other articulation here Let's look at the shoulders go up there. This piece kind of moves, which is really nice, so it won't scratch that up too much. It moves with it, so I really like that. We get a little bit of movement here in the shoulders here. Feels really solid. You know, I really like that. Again, I, I just want to stress this one more time. The, the material I am a little concerned about just with stories I've heard from other collectors, but I do like how that shoulder piece moves with it, so that way it's not getting rubbed up against the whole time. I really like that. Some good movement in the arms, which is nice because with Vader, you're going to be doing that. Take a look at that battle damage piece right there. That looks so, so good. You get all the different st uh, stuff on the belt here. Again, one more time, I just want to show that this, all, this stuff can all connect to light those things up. The weight of it's really good. Um, I keep pointing out this. I, now I want to just talk about it. I like it. I mean, it, it looks really good. It looks Vader, you know, and, and, and the material feels nice. I'm just worried about the longevity of it and the wrinkling of it. You get the here with the shoulder or the, uh, the elbow. You know, again, everything you'd probably want in a Vader. You're going to be able to do all the poses that you probably want to do with a Darth Vader. Um, I do like how the arms seem a little bit more posable than the legs, which I like because, again, Vader's stuff... Vader's poses are pretty simple, so I do like that. Um, and again, we got the legs here. We got the boots, which is nice. It's a split cut boot uh, where the boot guards are different from the shoe, which I really like. And so you can kind of move the foot a little bit and you can also move these pieces around again. I like that, uh, that approach and you get some good movement here in the knee. And, and the, I'm telling you, the legs kind of surprised me. That That's pretty good. I mean, that looks pretty good. It doesn't look like it's going to wrinkle up too bad. I'm actually pretty surprised how well, how much movement and articulation you do get in the knee here. Let's see about the thigh. The thigh is a little rigid, but again, I just got the figure out. I want to be super careful with it, but you can go about to here. I wouldn't go too much further than that because I do worry about that seam splitting right there in between the legs. So that's always a concern. And but again, really solid articulation in the leg. Again, for a Vader figure, a figure that you're probably not going to do any crazy poses with. But I am really pleasantly surprised how well the knee can bend, and the material looks like it's going to, you know, with with simple bends, you should be fine. Um, but yeah, here's the boot again. Like I said, the boot goes all the way up, and they got the guard here, but you still get some movement in the ankles, which is really nice. I like having that movement in the ankles, and these boots are really cool. I do like these boots a lot. I do like the way they look. Again, it's just essential Vader. You know, the toe here moving up and down, toe moving up and down. So overall, I'm really happy with their articulation. Now let's take a look here at the other contents in the box we get the instruction manual here the dx27 dx28 again this is the dx28 this is the deluxe we get this cape here right on the top you can see some of the different um stuff behind it but let's just take a look real quick let's get this out of here and um yeah this cape looks like it's going to be pretty much like the dx19 if you have that batman figure if you have other vader figures i'm sure it's the same you get other things in there like the lightsaber hills the base uh, two different bases actually with the deluxe version which we're going to be taking a look at pretty soon but right there you can kind of see all of that stuff but let's take a closer look at this cape and again right off the bat i'm instantly reminded of the dx19 cape from batman it's pretty much the same exact cape for the most part with some slight changes feels really good i mean it's it's the cape you'd probably want with a vader um again not going to be able to do too much it's definitely going to be the, the the highlight of it though you kind of saw a little bit of it with that that uh, battle damage here but i just want to show you the the cape in general it's got a nice weight to it it's good it feels it feels good it feels good and there's that um lightsaber slash right there that you can see the battle damage and you'll be able to interchange those out we'll take a look at that later when we pose the figure but here's everything the figure comes with you get the three lightsabers you get the different hilts are the three lightsaber different options or four really you get the base uh you get the eye roll uh mechanism there and you get the two bases you get the rock base and you get the premium base so all this stuff comes with the dx so i love how you get two bases this is the rock base 
we're going to take a look at this one first. This one comes with uh, the DX27 as well. This is basically what you would um, what you would guess. I mean, <laughs> this is really what you would guess. I mean, if you've had a rock base like this, it is pretty much the same stuff. Hot Toys really likes to reuse a lot of different bases, you know, make minor adjustments to them. But you really can't be too upset with this base. I actually think you're going to be able to stand them on it pretty well with the width of it. Again, if you want to have that battle damage version, that scene does take place on this type of material. So it is something that is welcomed. I just love that we got both bases, but the base looks really solid. So if you're getting the DX27 and you're watching this review, this base is really good. I, I, I don't mind this one at all. Um, but we're going to take a look at the DX28, the deluxe base. I think this thing looks great. I really like this. I like the shape of it. I like the, and I love how we get both. Getting both is huge. I, anytime you get a deluxe, you should always get the standard base. Always, in my opinion. But, um, and I also think you should just get a regular base too. Maybe that's just me. Regular Star Wars base to come with it. So I just like the look of it. You can plug in back here. You can get that USB function out. If my camera would focus, we could. If my camera would focus, we could do that. There we go. So you can kind of get this uh, plug in here. You can get this base to light up as well. And, you know, again, I welcome all different USB functionality. I hope all figures go to that. So that way it's an easy setup for us who want to plug in these figures. You get this piece, obviously, that you will plug into either one of these bases and whichever one you decide to choose so again with the different display options this is the thing obviously you would put on top of that to be able to pose the figure almost their crotch grabber so to speak this is that eyeball function tool you could use this but i was able to kind of move the eyeball around just with my finger because of how nice it is to get to the uh, rolling eyeball with the accessibility there and this is that uh you can put this on the back of vader and this is where you would plug in all those cords we looked at earlier to get the chest piece the lightsaber those lit up with usb functionality so again really cool piece that you can put on the back of vader the cape will cover it up so really cool now we're going to take a look at the usb lightsaber hilt this is the usb this would plug in this will go in through that um that shoulder piece area that there's a little uh there's a little thing you can put up through it and would connect down it runs down uh, vader's arm so you can kind of plug that in here's some of the other lightsaber hilts that we get with the figure here is your darth vader hilt that just look again just looks really cool this is my first vader so all these look new to me um in hand so i'm sure if you've had a vader these look familiar and here's some of the other um hilts as well if you want to kind of show off that two lightsaber look this is definitely an option for you with this one and the uh, one we're going to take a look at here in a minute. I just really like the way they look. They all look really good. And here's the last one. Again, really solid. You can't be too upset with any of these choices that you decide to go with. I just love the options. With a deluxe, I love having options, and this is no exception. Now we're going to take a look at the options for the lightsaber. This is the one that kind of shows off like it's being used. It's in attack mode. It's in battle mode really looks decent really looks good haven't seen the usb uh, light up function with it yet so i don't know how good it comes off but i know a lot of people get custom sabers because it doesn't give off too much light so we'll have to see that um in another video maybe but here we go we got the three different lightsabers that you can uh alternate between or use or however you'd like to use it so again options 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 which i love to see here's all the stuff we get with it all of it right here um you can see and i think it's a welcome addition to get this many accessories get the two bases you get all this stuff and i'm pleased with it so we're going to take a look at the figure here overall overall my final thoughts on this figure is it's superb anytime that you get the figure in hand and it's almost identical to the prototype images you have to be pleased and this figure is a beast this is my first Vader, so I can't compare it to the previous versions. But as of right now, this this might be the best Vader to have in your collection if you don't have one, just because you get the battle damage look and you get the clean look with the Deluxe. That's why I think the Deluxe is such a great option if you're like me and you haven't and you don't have another Vader. I plan on getting the 40th anniversary Vader as well. So it'll be nice to have both of those versions of the character. Overall though, this figure is amazing. The head sculpt is damn near perfect. The design is everything you could want in a Vader. The articulation is solid, but my one worry is that pleather material wearing over time. I love the deluxe base and I like how the character can actually stand on it. I love the accessibility of the rolling eyeball function, the different gloved hands. I will say though, taking those on and off worries me a bit because of the material getting scratched up. So be careful with that. And in closing, just an amazing figure and one I think is essential for all collectors. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review. Consider subscribing to my channel. And if you enjoy this type of content, please give this video a like. Um, that would be really helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you are picking this one up. 
Let me know if you have it already. And yeah, um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.